Ooh, we have made it to week eight, day one, the last chest workout in your program with me. And I'm so happy, I'm so proud of you guys working through this together with me as I've guided you through step by step. We've made it such a long way. And week eight, it's time to celebrate. But before we do, we're gonna take all the intensity, all the complexity that we've learned from previous weeks, and we're gonna pile it all in this week's workout. We're gonna finish also with two variables that you're already familiar with. We're gonna do the side planks and some leg raises. We're gonna keep those abs popping. We're gonna keep that waistline shrinking. We're gonna keep that pride and that chest up. The accomplishments that you have set out to do are almost complete. It's week eight. Before we celebrate, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna initiate a sun salutation stretch. Every muscle in the chain that we'll be working today, you'll be experiencing and understanding how they all flow together with the sun salutation warm up. So now for the sun salutation. I'm gonna take that deep breath, take that flow, reach right up, nice and tall, reach for the sun. And exhale, back down. Try to touch your toes. It's okay if you can't touch your toes. Touch the back of your knees. No tension, no stress, just relax. We're just warming up. If you wanna get a nice hip shift, you can engage those glutes, the hamstrings. The point here is to open your body up and find your flow and your form. And at the same time, generate the energy the energy of confidence. Let's go right over left. Let go of all that stress from the day. We're gearing up to get down. This is your time. Back up, reach. Left over right and down. You need to breathe. Open up. Now we're gonna make friends with the floor. Put your hands down. Toes straight, open up the hips. Stretch off the knee. Find your freedom, find your balance. Exhale. Relax and surrender. Right here is your surrender. Hips, toes pointed. You hear that? <laughs> That's right. Let's get cracking. Now guys and girls, it's just you and I together as teammates on this journey. Put that toe down, open up those hips. Let go of the world, let go of the stress. Let's get back involved in progress, happiness. Back down, toes straight, and up. Now we're gonna go back flat. Yes, fire up that core. 
One more. And now, now you're ready. All right, so I'm so excited to show you this innovative push-up that's gonna incorporate some core stability. Let me take it down to the floor. This is a push-up thigh touch. Follow me with the technique here. We're gonna perform a normal push-up, hands shoulder width apart, inhale, exhale. Then we're gonna stabilize with one hand. Let's do left hand first, then touch your right thigh. Inhale, exhale, switch thighs. Let's go. And we're gonna finish in the pause position for 20 seconds. All right, now you got 15 seconds. So let me show you the diamond push-up shoulder tap variation. We're gonna go down in the push-up position here. We're gonna inhale, exhale, and we're gonna to touch our shoulders. Let's go. Remember, as many reps as you can do in 30 seconds. At the end, we're gonna hold for 20. Tight core. And then take 15 seconds to rest and recover and get ready for your next chest exercise. All right, guys, so let's go into the wide push-up position. Go down. Now, remember, we're gonna put our hands just beyond shoulder width apart, keep our elbows tucked in. Let's go. Pause, keep that tension, 20 seconds. Spine strong, and that completes your round. The next chest exercise is the shoulder tap pointer. So I'm gonna take you down. So we're gonna put our hands shoulder width apart, exhale. And as we go up, put our hand up and point in front of us. Complete the rep, left to right, let's go. Keeping your form tight in the 30 seconds. At the end, we're gonna hold in that push-up position for 20 seconds. And that completes the round. You got 15 seconds. The next exercise is called the plank up. We're gonna go down and show you the form here. I'm gonna go down. You're gonna go back onto your elbow. 
and then back up to your hands. Let's go. Pause, position. And complete. And that is the end of the round. A great job for finishing strong with your workout, but we're not done yet. We're gonna hit the floor and get some more. I'm gonna show you some abdominal movements with some planks, side planks, with some leg lifts. Let's go for it. So we're just gonna put our elbows down. We're gonna make sure that they're parallel with our shoulders, keep on our toes, keep our spine straight. We're gonna keep that spine perfectly straight. We're gonna hold it here. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now that you've completed, we're gonna switch over to the side plank. So I'm gonna take you through the form. What you're gonna do is we're gonna place that hand directly in line. And just hold our hands on the hips here, stabilize and keep your feet spread nice and wide. Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna do a side plank from the other side. Same position, keep our spine straight. Make sure that arm is straight, parallel with your shoulder, hands on the hip, feet nice and wide at the bottom. Hold for one minute. Let's go. Congratulations, man, that was tough. I know your whole body is burning, your heart is racing, and you're pumped up and feeling great, but 
We're not finished yet. Now we're gonna transition to stimulating those lower abdominals with some leg lifts. Let's get our form back on the floor. So let's go ahead and engage that leg lift. Let's just do a 45 degree movement and down. Let's go. Day one of week eight, and before we celebrate, I am so excited to share with you some unique things we'll be switching around for you. We're gonna take everything that you've learned so far and bring it all to an apex. Week eight, let's see what's next.